Generally, a court reviewing an administrative agency's decision defers to the agency when the agency is performing its function as a fact finder. However, in cases involving formal rulemaking or formal adjudication, the Administrative Procedure Act, or APA, allows a court to set aside actions that aren't supported by substantial evidence. In the 2019 case Bistec v. Berryhill, the United States Supreme Court considered whether this substantial evidence standard was met in a case involving the denial of Social Security disability benefits. Michael Bistec, a former construction worker, applied for Social Security benefits with the Social Security Administrative Agency, or SSA, claiming eligibility as of 2009. The SSA held a hearing on Bistec's application before an administrative law judge, or ALJ. At the hearings, the ALJ had to determine whether Bistec could transition to less physically demanding work and sought the guidance of a vocational expert, as was the customary practice. The expert testified that Bistec could work as a bench assembler or sorter. Further, she stated there were 240,000 bench assembler jobs and 120,000 sorter jobs nationwide. On cross-examination, Bistec's attorney asked the expert where she was getting her numbers. The expert responded they were from the Bureau of Labor Statistics and her own labor market surveys. Bistec's attorney then asked the expert to produce the surveys, but she stated she wished to keep them confidential. Further, when Bistec's attorney suggested taking the names out of the surveys, the ALJ stated the expert didn't need to produce the data. Following the hearing, the ALJ granted Bistec's application in part, concluding that he could have worked from 2009 until 2013 when he turned 50. Bistec sought review in federal district court, naming Commissioner of Social Security Nancy Berryhill as defendant. Specifically, Bistec argued that because the expert didn't produce supporting data, her testimony couldn't constitute substantial evidence. The court disagreed, and following an appeal, the Sixth Circuit affirmed. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.